guys, it's our prime. Uh, I am using my dad's computer today because um, because my uh, computer has a virus. Set it in the shop to get looked at. But anyway, today I'm looking at Transformers Generations IDW Deluxe Class Orion Pax. And if you don't know who Orion Pax is, it's Optimus. And yes, I will be getting the Generations Combiner Wars Prime. But uh, anyway, you can tell. It's a Cybertronian truck. I'm going to bring the camera up a minute because I don't think you guys can see it. Hang on. Bring it up to me. Why not? Okay, anyway. Here, here's where I'm packs. Remove his weapons. Look at the weapons. He comes with an Energon axe. If you turn it upside down, it looks like a guitar. And of course, every Optimus Prime from G1 comes with his G1 rifle. Well, a miniature version of his rifle. Um, but yeah. Here is Orion. Nope, that way. Orion Pax. You can see he's a Cybertronian truck. Not his normal Earth truck thing. Let me throw myself there. Now I can look at this and this. Anyway, for uh, I'll get to. I don't think I have anybody in vehicle mode. No, I have nobody. Wait, I have one vehicle. Give me one minute. I will be right back. One vehicle mode. It is the Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime from McDonald's. So you can see, not that much taller, but yeah, blue and red. Oh, I also wanted to show this off anyway. I bend the smokestacks and ba boom, he lights up. Anyway. Back to Prime, or Pax. You can hopefully focus. You see this white window shows the Autobot logo. It has headlights here and down here. If you can tell just by looking at it, I put some gold uh, paint in the figure, mainly here and um a huge amount in here to bring out some of that detail but uh yeah if you guys don't know the story of Ryan Pax go watch an episode from G1 which I don't remember what it was called and Season 2, Episodes 1, 2, and 3 of Transformers Prime. If I got those wrong, let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's get to a transformation. First thing I'm going to do, bring that up. Um, separate the panels. You can see that it just splits everything because my figure's a little loose. Bring this up, and you want to make sure it goes on to the leg. So now he has a knee. Then back here is his foot. Bring that down and rotate it. I like to push it all the way up. Let's see first thing is first up. Oh, yeah, you want to bring that section up. Bring that down. Bring his foot out all the way. There. Now he has legs. Rotate his legs a full 360. No. 90. Uh, then you've got his midsection. 
which on mine is very loose. Anyway, you want to take these wheels, bring them out, bring them all the way out. And his wheels just rest behind his back. But then, ooh, uh, yeah, you got his arm here, which is on a double hinge. You bring it all the way over. You get the side view mirror here, which will slot in right there. Slot it in. Second verse, same as the first. Slot it over. And then you want to take his body, which is on a hinge, all the way down, and until it clicks in. It's a soft click, but it clicks. But then you take his arms, flip. Oop, you can't see that. Flip out his hand. Flip. Out his hand, and that was my cat. And then for the head, and there is Orion Pax's head. And there is Orion Pax in Romano. Now this is the part where my face goes away. Bye bye. Reg Pro Cleaner has found errors in system. Please click fix to fix all errors. And that was a little error in my com it's computer. I'm sorry, Orion Pax fell. Maybe I'll screw his feet back. Again, I don't know how to edit, so if you hear that within the video, it's probably going to end up staying there. Anyway, here he is in his robot mode. He's got a silver face, blue eyes, really nice detail. Oh, yeah, with the gold paint, I need to do more, but it brings out his legs a lot more. Um, articulation. His head is on a ball, right? So it won't be down, not much, due to this thing on the back. Side to side, arms. They are on a ball joint. Do a full 360. It's got a bite, sip, swivel. It's the arm is on a soft ratchet, and the hand is on a hinge or clip, it's in and out. I would do leg articulation, but it is so rough. Whoops. <clears throat> See, I gotta apply force to those. Uh, but anyway, leg is on a ball joint. Leg is on a swivel. You can bend about up to here, but I can't. And the feet are on ball joints. So, um, yeah. I might get another Orion Pax for that. But, uh, anyway, you can take his gun, tap it into one hand, and he can hold his rifle, which is loose in that hand. Swap it. There we go. He can hold his rifle, or he can hold his axe for chopping Decepticons. Well, anyway, can he? I'm thinking if I do this correctly. Oh, wait, wait, hang a minute. If you want, he could do the Age of Extinction Optimus pose. Or, if you want, he can play guitar. For comparison, here he is. Here is Prime Voyager Megatron. You can see Megatron's here. Pax is down here. He is really, really small. Let me readjust his feet. But for a more. Sorry. More good comparison, maybe. 
is with my first edition Deluxe Megatron. And yes, I will be redoing a few of this eventually. That won't be until after BotCon, though. Because his hips are loose beyond point even with uh, floor polish. I can't get them to work. So I'm just going to go out and get another one. One to put on the shelf and one to play with for a bit. But you can see, this is accurate between Orion Pax and Megatron. And for shelf, um, I'll just, oh yeah. I can just show you how I display him on my shelf. Take a little camera off my head. See? I display him with my Decepticons, because Oran Pax in the Prime Universe was a Decepticon for Ben. And just to show it off, here are my Autobots. But, um, yeah, that's Orion Pax. The next video will be on my buddy Grimwing, or should I say Grim No Wing. If you saw this on the shelf, it is not mine. I will not review it. Do not ask. And then I will be reviewing Starscream, which is right here. Shockwave, Hotshot, my custom. And then I cannot review this guy or this guy because they are both broke. I will review him, her, and him. He's busted as well. Well, I shouldn't say busted, I should say modified, I guess. But, um. Oh, yeah, on my computer at home, or my other computer, my computer. I have this open my video list. He will put oh, if I don't get to the figures I said, I will end up posting him. Oh, Ooh, almost tripped there. And I will also be reviewing my 2003 Hulk. Love this Hulk. Oh, and one more update for video before I can move things out of the way. I will also be reviewing my custom diorama, the Doctor Who TARDIS playset. I'm working with it. That's just the prototype. But oh, and um, I wanted to show one more thing. I need my flashlight. If you can't see what's down here. It's my Transformer movie shelf toys. Got Grimlock here, Sideswipe, Bumblebee, Prime, Little Sideswipe. Um, yes, I have reviewed all the toys except for Evasion Mode. Um, Evasion Mode Prime, his arm busted off. So I had to glue him back into vehicle mode. But, uh... Yeah. Hope you liked the video. Please, uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment below. And I want to give another shout-out to uh, 101 Shapeshifter here on YouTube, who is my best and personal friend. I'm... Um, not saying his name right now because I don't want to have him harassed or anything. Well, um, but anyway, one on one cheap shifter. I'll leave the link in the description box. <laughs> Go check his channel out. 
He does some pretty good videos. He hasn't reviewed in a year due to his um, computer. Um, what else? Eh. Anyway, this has been SR Prime. Rolling out.